Both my grandmother and grandfather immigrated to America in the early 1960s. My grandfather, Oliver O'Mahony, was born in Ireland on July 3, 1938, to the chief of police in Dundalk, Ireland. My grandmother, Julia O'Mahony, was born in 1939 in Manila, Philippines. Following the death of my grandfather's father, my grandpa enlisted in the U.S. Army and was sent to the Philippines to help prepare for the Vietnam War. This is where my grandparents met, and after a few dates, my grandpa found out he would be sent back to America and told my grandma to move to California, as this is where he thought he would be transferred. After a month at sea, my grandfather realizes he would be stationed in Hawaii, not California, and for the next few months, he puts in requests each week to be transferred to California. My grandma, who is still in the Philippines at this point, begins expressing interest in joining a student nurse exchange program. Her father, however, was very sick, which delayed this process, as her mother wanted her to stay home to be with family. Following the death of Grandma's father, she decided to move to the U.S. for a two-year exchange program. She moved to Chicago with her eldest sister before she was placed to work in a hospital in Newark, New Jersey. Grandpa Ollie, still living in Hawaii, is finally granted his transfer request. The Army requires that he provides a reasoning as to why he is requesting to be transferred to California specifically. He explains that he has an uncle living and working there. The next week, my grandpa hops on a plane only to find out he's being placed in New Jersey. Grandpa is upset because he has been telling my grandma, Juju, to move to California, and he will be on the total opposite end of the country, or so he thought. Ironically, my grandma is already living and working in New Jersey. As soon as Grandpa Ollie lands, he writes my grandma a letter explaining the situation and where he's located. Soon after, he receives a letter back from my grandma, saying she is living about 30 minutes away from where he is stationed. Of all the places to move or be located, they are now living 30 minutes away from each other and can pick up right where they left off. Both my grandparents expressed the importance of gaining citizenship and their reasons for that. He, he had a uh, problem with his eyes, so he didn't get into the military. He didn't care one way or another. He didn't want to. But I wanted to go into the army. I wanted to. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to be drafted because I, was, I felt I'm coming to this country. The least I can do is volunteer for the military, you know, or the military of the United States. Because for me, it's more, it was more of a privilege than a, than a penalty. And, uh, so I wanted to join. And um, I got my citizenship very early. When I was in the Army, because I had some letters of commendation and so on like that, so uh, the personnel told me, the officer said, look, we, we can get your citizenship. And I, I said, well, I'd rather wait until I get out. Because I didn't want to use the army to yeah. be getting my citizenship. I wanted to get it, you know. Yeah, but we're married already when you get So when I got out, I got my citizenship in three years, which is very, very good. Normally it takes five years. And um, so I applied for my citizenship after, after I got out. The people in the army were telling me, you should apply right away. Because you'll get it right away. You don't have to wait. And, uh, and I did after three years. And, uh, Tomorrow the grocery is going to be closed, so we try to get as much as you could for what you need to, to for appetizer. But the army was a great experience for me. After finishing her two-year program, my grandma wanted to stay and continue working in the U.S. She gained citizenship through naturalization after marrying my grandfather and gained it rather easily as they were able to prove their relationship was not solely based on establishing citizenship. After the military, Grandpa Ollie worked for the Campbell Soup Company while studying to earn his pilot's license. After four years, he left Campbell and secured a job selling airplanes domestically and internationally. My grandparents moved to America with minimal ties and after 50 years built a family and created a life together. They both are very proud of their previous countries of origin, however, they express their appreciation towards America and the opportunities provided.